Hello, Hello Year 10 students and parents. My name is Mr Player and I have the privilege to be Director of Learning for Key Stage 4 at Framingham Well. What I'd like to talk a little bit about now is uh, the road ahead for students in Key Stage 4 and a few tips for success and how they can set themselves up for being successful over the next couple of years. I see my role as Director of Learning uh, of Key Stage 4 very much as giving students the routes to grow um, and also giving them the wings to fly. And what I mean by that is we want students at Framingham L to develop their personal skills, their social skills, and obviously their academic skills to have all the tools to be successful in the future. But we also want them to grow their aspirations and their confidence to be able to fly um, beyond Framingham L. And it's very much about trying to build that over the next couple of years. And that's very much how I see my role. The start of Key Stage 4 is a brilliant time to be able to stop and think and refresh, reset and go again. A number of students have had fantastic Key Stage 3 journeys and they've set themselves up really well for success in Key Stage 4. But for those students who think that at times in Key Stage 3 they didn't do all that they could, now is a time to reset and restart and go again. It's all about making sure that we finish the end of the Framingham Earl journey as strong as we possibly can. And when I think about the journey over the next couple of years, I often think of it a bit like an expedition. Um, and currently we're at base camp and we want to try to get to the summit by 2023 when we're sitting those exams. And expeditions like this can be scary. Um, they can sometimes seem like huge monumental things. Um, but as I say to students, what we need to do is step by step, day by day, making sure that we're just moving forwards. It's about doing the simple things well, the simple things often. Success at the end of year 11 is a sum of the small efforts repeated day in and day out. It's not about what you do in those last couple of months in year 11. What we want is for students to be taking every single day in Key Stage 4 seriously, making progress every single day so that we get to the end of year 11 and momentum has been built and actually students are feeling confident about going into those exams and doing the best that they possibly can. So I try and break that down a little bit further in thinking about students bringing their A game every day. Um, and that's about attendance. It's about appearance. It's importantly about attitude, aspiration. And then if we get all of those fundamentals right, then attainment will follow. So to look at each of those in a little bit more detail, Attendance is obviously a crucial part of success in Key Stage 4. I think we've seen with students out of school uh, various times over the last couple of years that lost learning happens during that time. So it's vital that when students are well, when students are able, that they're in school. It's also vital that students are punctual to school and punctual to lessons because it will be those little moments, um, the little minutes that will add up um, to a great sum at the end. It's also about appearance and appearance isn't just about uniform. Appearance is about turning up to lessons, looking ready to learn and being prepared um, every single day. It's making sure you've got all of your equipment. It's making sure that as you turn up to a door, a teacher can see that you are focused. And we will, during Key Stage 4, keep those consistent high expectations of all students all year over the next couple of years. The most crucial aspect is probably your attitude to learning. We have seen so many times over the, the years that actually the students with the attitude to learning and not always about the ability are those students that are successful. As it says on the side, it's not a coincidence that knowledge is important, hard work is important, but it is your attitude that will ultimately decide how you get on over the next couple of years. We want to see students who are positive, students that are respectful, responsible, ready to be successful. And if you do that, if you work with us and you show that positive can-do growth mindset, then we know that students will be successful at Framingham L. And it is about aspiration. We have a school vision of anything's possible and we truly believe that for students that come to Framingham L, we can set you up to be successful in whatever you want to do. But it is at this stage, at the start of year 10, when you need to start setting those targets high. 
And even if you don't know what it is you want to be yet, it's about being the best you can be or whatever you're doing. Um, sometimes students in year 10 think that they should have all the answers about what they're going to do in terms of career. It's not about that. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was 14, 15. A number of people don't. But it is just about doing the best that you can and setting your targets as high as you possibly can. It's also about doing your personal best. This isn't about comparisons with other people in your year group. It's not comparisons against siblings. It's about doing the best that you can. Mrs. Arnold often talks about work hard, be kind. And it's work hard for yourself because everything that you do over the next couple of years will benefit you. So sometimes be a little bit selfish. Think about what you can do to be successful and set your aspirations as high as you possibly can. And if we do that, then if we get all those fundamentals right in terms of our um, attendance, in terms of our appearance, our attitude and our aspirations set high, then attainment will follow. Um, but it is going to be hard work. It's going to be hard work over the next couple of years. There will be steps along the way where things go wrong. But it's making sure that we keep putting in that effort. We keep being resilient and persevering all the way through. And as I said, there will be times when things go wrong. And that's what we as a guidance team are here for. There will be times where academically things don't work out how you want them to. There will be times when personally things are difficult. The important thing is that we don't give up. The important thing is, is that we keep going. We never lose. We only win or learn. And it's about making sure that we work together with that. We're not expecting everybody to get it right first time. We're not expecting everybody to have the answers, but we are expecting you to try and we are expecting you to keep going. If you're finding things difficult, speak to us. We're here as a guidance team to be able to, to help and support you along the way. I often say to students, uh, and parents will back this up who've had older siblings go through the school, that the bad news is time flies. The good news is that you're the pilot and very much over the next couple of years, you need to take ownership. We can be the cabin crew as staff and as parents and try and support and help you along the way. But ultimately, you've got to set the destination. You've got to decide what you want to do and you've got to make the most of the next two years. I use the equation at the bottom, 30 minutes a day, two and a half hours a week, that would be. 70 extra, uh, 70 weeks over the next two academic years would give you 175 hours worth of learning by the time you get to your GCSEs. That's just 30 minutes every school day over the next two years to give you 175 hours worth of preparation and revision for your exams. So if you utilise your time effectively over the next couple of years, you can be successful. Don't leave it right to the end. That hard work those little bits starts now. And you might not be there yet, but we just want you to be closer than you were yesterday. We want every single day to be a stepping stone towards your success in Key Stage 4. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. Um, if you have further questions, we have obviously got a question and answer session taking place on Monday at 5 p.m. It would be great to see a number of parents there. Um, if you do need any help before then, please do get in contact with me via email or via the school office, which you should have received in my welcome uh, letter last week. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye bye.